Word includes a labor-saving feature known as building blocks, which allows you to create reusable chunks of content. In this video, I show you how to create and work with this amazing tool. When you are developing documents, over time you may notice that you often use the same content over and over again. For instance, names, addresses, taglines, or even marketing phrases are often used multiple times. This is where building blocks can come in handy, as they allow you to define blocks of text and other content that you can use over and over. This capability can be a real boon in some types of writing. The first step in using building blocks is to create your own. This is easy to do and takes only a few steps. One, select the text and or graphics for which you want to create a building block. 2. Press Alt plus F3. And number 3. Provide a name for your building block. Those three steps are the simplest way to create your building block. So let's see how to do them. You'll notice that I have open a letter that I have written in the past. I could easily create a building block for my signature line right down here near the bottom of the document. All I need to do is go ahead and select the text in that signature, making sure that I select the entire paragraphs. Now I go ahead and I press Alt F3 and Word displays the Create New Building Block dialog box. There is very little in this dialog box that must be changed and I typically just change the name that I want to use for this particular building block. In this case, I'll call the building block something simple like SIGLINE. So I'll just type S-I-G-L-I-N-E. Now it's permissible for your building block names to include spaces, but I prefer to keep my name short with just enough information so that I can understand what they contain. Once I click on OK, then my building block is completed. Notice that nothing has changed within the document, so I can go on and work with the document as I desire. A building block can come in handy in other ways as well. Remember that the purpose is to provide blocks of information that you can use over and over again very easily. So let's say that I run a law office in Young County, Texas, and I often file with the court motions for small estates after the death of an individual. I've got open on the screen just such a document. From this one, I'm going to create two building blocks. The first one is going to be right up here near the top. I'm going to go ahead and select everything down through this line right down here. This is a heading that I would use in every single small estate affidavit that I might put together. So I've selected it. Now all I have to do is again press Alt plus F3 to create new building block. A dialog box is displayed on the screen. I'm going to give this a name like OSEA heading. So I'm going to go ahead and click on OK, and now I've created that building block. Now I'm going to go down and do my second building block, because in these types of documents for the court, you may have blocks of information that you need to uh, use over and over again. So one of those would be right down here, and if I select this, I'll go ahead and select it all the way down to the bottom there. This is a standard witness a signature block that needs to be used for these types of documents with the court. So with it selected, again, all I do is I press Alt plus F3, and this one I'm going to give a name of SEA, which again means Small Estate Affidavit Witness. Now when I click on OK, this one has been saved as well, and I have my two building blocks that I've created based upon information that is within this document. Once you have your building blocks defined, they are very easy to start using. Now, note that I have a blank document open on the screen. Let's say that I want this document to be the start of a new small estate affidavit, like I discussed earlier. All I need to do is start typing the name of the heading 
And after three or four characters, Word helpfully suggests the building block. In this case, it shows that because I've given it just those few characters that unambiguously define the building block, and I can go ahead at this point, just like it says, and I press enter, and now I have that heading from the building block that is available within this particular document. You can also, if desired, use the building block organizer to insert a building block. You access this tool by displaying the insert tab of the ribbon right up here. And then in the quick parts area, I'm going to go ahead and choose building blocks organizer. And when I do, the organizer is displayed on the screen. Note that up near the top here, we have auto text or the building blocks that we've created just a few moments ago. And I can click on one of those if I want to, and I can see a representation of it over the right side of the screen. But also notice that there's a lot of built-in building blocks that Word provides for you and that you can use within your document. Many of these are utilized by other tools within the Word interface, but you can go ahead and enter them using the building blocks organizer if you want to. And I'll allow you to go ahead and look through all of those. You can see that there are dozens and dozens and dozens of them that you can add into your document if you want to. To me, however, the most important ones are, again, these ones right up at the beginning up here, which are the ones that I've defined for use within my work in Microsoft Word. Once you've defined your building block entries, you may need to edit them later. There is no special editing feature for building block entries in Word, however. You can't even edit them using the building blocks organizer that we looked at a few moments ago. The best way to edit a building block entry is to basically just redefine the building block. For instance, let's say that I wanted to uh, change the building block that I created for the signature line a little while ago. All I would have to do is go ahead and type uh, SIGLINE, start to type SIGLINE, because that's what I put that under a few moments ago. I press enter and I have my signature line on the screen. But let's say that I want to make, oh, I don't know, I'm going to make this part in here bold and this part in here I'm going to make just a little bit smaller than the rest of the text. So I'm going to put it at 10 points, just like that. And that's my building block that I want for my new signature line. Well, then all I have to do is go ahead and select this again. I'm going to go ahead and press Alt F3. It displays the Create New Building Block dialog box all over, just like you've seen earlier in this video. But I'm going to give it the exact same name that I used for that signature block a little while ago. When I click on OK, it asks if I want to redefine the building block entry. And I say yes, and now I have my new signature block in there. In fact, I can delete this if I want to. And if I go ahead and I type SIGLINE and press ENTER, you can see that it has the modified signature line, and I can use it from this point forward. It won't change any instance where I've used that building block in the past, it's only for future use of that building block. If you don't need a building block anymore, you can easily delete it. The easiest way to do this is to use the building block organizer that we discussed earlier in this video. You display the building block organizer by going to the insert tab of the ribbon and over here on quick parts, you choose building blocks organizer. All you have to do is go ahead and select the one that you want to get rid of. Let's say I want to get rid of this one right here. And then I click on the delete button. I'm asked to confirm that I really want to delete it. And when I say yes, it is gone and is no longer available as a building block for my use within putting documents together. Now you have to understand that you can only delete building blocks that you have created. You cannot delete any of the built-in building blocks that Word uses. So work with these that you've created up here near the uh, top of the building blocks organizer, and you can delete the ones that you no longer need. When you're done, 
Just go ahead and click on close and you can go back to working within Word like normal. I hope that you can start to see how powerful building blocks are and are already thinking of ways that you can use them in your use of Word. I use them quite regularly and find them quite helpful in developing documents where I need to use common text over and over. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure that you click the subscribe button and then click the bell icon. That way YouTube will let you know whenever I add a new video to the Word Tips channel. Thanks for spending a few minutes with me today.